YouTube, I'm Dawn, and welcome to Double D Homestead. And today I'm going to show you how to make savory cheddar, cheddar bacon biscuits. So, if you want to learn how to do this, stick around and come on in. I'll bring you up close where you can see what I'm doing, and this is super easy. Let's get to it. All right, to get started, I have fried a pound of bacon and chopped it up. And I've got some grease down here. This isn't all the grease. You know, I saved my bacon grease, of course. But I'm going to take this bacon grease. This makes 12 muffins. But I just got my little pan out right now <clears throat> to show you how to do this. And you're going to just grease your pan real good with the bacon grease. And get it ready to go. So that your muffins don't stick. So I'll finish my pan up and be right back. Alrighty, my friends. So the first thing we gotta do here is I got a cup and a half of all-purpose flour and a tablespoon of baking soda. And we're just gonna sift this all together. Oops, I left some flour in there. And get it sifted real quick. Just like so. Get all the lumps out. Just like that. And that's done. And our next step is we're gonna cut in a pound of butter. I shredded mine. I did, I did. Just to make this step much faster. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies lately is something else. And I'm gonna get this all cut in and mixed up good. And all right, I got it all cut in together. See how it makes little lumps? Yep, that's what you're looking for. Then you're just gonna add one egg beaten and a half a cup of cream. And we're gonna mix that together. And I got my oven heating up at 450, or 400, I'm sorry, 400. And I'm gonna get this mixed up. And this is the second to last step. There's only a few little things left to mix in this. And it's kind of a stiff dough, isn't it? No, I'm almost wanting to put a little milk in it, but I'll, I'll hold off. <laughs> so then, all we're gonna do is, I don't have any fresh green onions, so this is the equivalent of three fresh, or fresh green onion, they're dehydrated. So I'm gonna put those in there. A cup of grated sharp cheddar cheese, or whatever cheddar you like. You might even want a different kind of cheese. And some bacon. That was a whole pound I fried. And this just all gets mixed together. And I think I am gonna add about a quarter cup of milk. Alrighty, I did go ahead and put another quarter cup of milk in here and it's much better batter. So, got your little tin here. And I got me about an ice cream size scooper. And I'm just gonna scoop my batter Try and keep them all about the same size. It says to film about two thirds full, so we'll see what this does. Oh, this is too much. So, I will take some of that out. About like that right there. That's a mess now. Let's get that off. It'll burn all over it. About like that. I'm gonna get this filled up. We'll be right oh, back. I, the recipe calls for sprinkling caraway seeds right now. So if you wanted to put sesame or caraway or something like that on it, you could. Mert hates caraway seeds, so I'm not putting it on there. And these are going to go in a 400 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. And when I pull them out, I'll show you what they look like. Alrighty, alrighty, they're done. Look at these, they look so amazing. They smell really good. I'm gonna taste one. Cause this is my first time. Oh, gooey cheese pull. <laughs> They're hot. Mmm. <laughs> These are really good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, I hope you like this recipe. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. And y'all take care. And thank you to all my new subscribers, and thank you to all those diehard Don's diehards come back every day. Y'all take care and.